What does it mean to be a nice guy, sigma male, alpha male, or high value man? The summit of the social pyramid is occupied by high value men. And once more, we're not talking about a person's intrinsic value as a human being here, but rather high value abilities and traits. They are the men who have experienced the greatest levels of success and acclaim in life. Because so many women are interested in them, and so many other guys want to be in their social circle, they get to live by quite different rules. By the end of this video, you will have a clear understanding if you are one of them, or at least know where you need to be referred to as one. Here is a list of 10 things high-value men never do. Number 1. They never seek acceptance for doing what's right. A man of high worth will act morally without being prodded. Moreover, they act in a morally correct manner without regard for reward or recognition. A real high-value man makes a great example for others. He never looks to others for affirmation or praise. He sets an example and never seeks compensation, in contrast to low-value guys who frequently require affirmation and acknowledgement to feel good about themselves. A guy of high worth is happy to do good merely because it is the morally correct thing to do. He is aware that his deeds speak louder than words and that he just needs his approval. Number 2. They never compare themselves to others. Comparing yourself to others all the time can only make you unhappy. It causes feelings of inferiority, resentment, and jealousy. Instead of being grateful for what we do have, we tend to concentrate on what we lack. When it comes to success, this style of thinking is very detrimental. We perceive the achievement of others as a danger rather than something to aspire to. We frequently question why they are not me. Comparing oneself to others is a never-ending loop, and I'm just as good as they are. No matter how successful you are, there will always be someone more successful than you. And as you succeed, more people will look up to you as a role model. A lose-lose situation exists, and high-value men are aware that evaluating themselves against others is a huge waste of time. He doesn't feel the need to prove himself to anyone because he is happy with who he is. Everyone has a unique road, and success varies. What might work for him might not work for someone else. You simply set yourself up for sadness when you compare yourself to other people. Focus on being the best version of yourself rather than comparing yourself to others. Don't worry about what others are doing. Concentrate on your purpose. The only person to whom you should compare yourself is the version of yourself that you once were. Number 3. A high-value man isn't self-obsessed. Nothing is more obnoxious than someone who won't stop talking about themselves, who would not stop bragging about how amazing they are. The significance of silence is understood by high-value guys. They are aware of when to be silent and pay attention, and when to provide a relevant tale. One of the qualities that set high-value men apart is this. People talk constantly about themselves for a variety of reasons, but many of them stem from nervousness and lack of confidence. They are essentially always attempting to get the other person to join them. They are worthy, so I guess you could call it a conversation. It's disgusting and repels ladies a lot. Instead, high-value guys know their worth, are comfortable in their skin, and understand the importance of making sure the other person in the conversation is having a good time. Number 4. High-value men don't gossip. Not at all. They have no motivation to. They are aware of its ugly appearance and that it has no worth. What should you do if you can't say something kind? Don't say anything at all. That's accurate. Couple this with the knowledge that a woman or any other third party really will be turned off by you as well as the idea that you are the kind of person who would talk negatively about her if given the chance. So, by disparaging others, you're essentially shooting yourself in the foot. Instead, high-value guys find a way to present their concerns in the most favorable light and extend the benefit of the doubt to others. Because being generous and having the capacity to overlook someone else's transgressions are virtues as well as appealing traits. Number 5. High-value men don't play the nice guy. The fact is that no man fits neatly into just one category. And part of the reason for this is that they don't signify the same thing to everybody. 
But if you pretend to be a nice guy, you'll frequently find yourself residing permanently in the friend zone. This is not to say that you can't genuinely be a great person and still be attractive to women. And by no means is this a suggestion that you start being openly nasty and obnoxious. Instead, it merely implies that being a people pleaser or a pushover is far preferable to being strong, confident, and forceful. Being polite and offering to help a friend differs significantly from being a Mr. Nice Guy who will always say yes out of fear of being turned down. If all the talk of don't be a nice guy or be an alpha is too overwhelming for you, just remember that high-value men value themselves, their time, and those they care about. Be that guy. Number six, they try not to come across as all-knowing. You are not required to know all the solutions. Sometimes being wrong is acceptable because they understand that it is impossible to know everything. High-value guys aren't scared to say when they don't know something or to seek assistance when it is required. They recognize that we can all learn from one another and are humble and teachable. Acting as though you are an expert in everything will only make you appear foolish. People frequently attempt to appear more knowledgeable than they are. They try to sound knowledgeable by making lofty claims, but in actuality, they have no idea what they're talking about. This behavior occurs more frequently than you may imagine. People make up knowledge because they are afraid to admit when they don't know anything. But this simply causes humiliation and annoyance. Admitting that you need help is not a sign of shame. Not being afraid to ask for assistance is a sign of strength. These individuals don't strive to impress others with their expertise when they meet them for the first time. They are humble and inquisitive people who are more concerned with getting to know others than impressing them. They become more likable and approachable as a result. People are more inclined to want to be around them because of their genuineness and openness. Number 7. High-value men don't engage in fights. Stop honoring unruly behavior. High-value men don't participate in pointless disputes or battles. Don't get involved if you feel like she's using them to pick senseless and unjustified fights with you. This typically indicates that she doesn't value or respect you and that you should ignore her. By doing this, you wake her up and help her realize that she cannot have a spontaneous outburst without suffering repercussions. Withhold your affection and concern until she accepts responsibility for her error and you have had a chance to convey your side of the story. Number 8. They live in the present moment. The average person lives to go out on the weekends, while the high-value man lives for today because life is too short. After a demanding week at work, the typical person views the weekend as an opportunity to go out and have fun. These men take advantage of the situation to advance their careers. These guys are up early and making the most of the day while everyone else is sleeping. High-value men don't mind working for what they want since they know that the early bird gets the worm. These guys may appear to be all work and no play, but that is not the case. They know how to strike a healthy balance. They avoid letting their jobs consume them, but they also avoid wasting time on pointless activities. They do, of course, appreciate the occasional day off, but they don't let it control their actions. Number 9. He avoids black and white thinking. Black and white thinking is a common trait of a man of little value. When a relationship ends, he laments that he will never find the right lady and will always be alone. If he meets a new partner that he is deeply attracted to, he is ecstatic about how he has finally made it and how the rest of his life will be peaches. The high-value man avoids participating in these hazardous games. He is aware that both good and bad periods in life are always subject to change. In addition, he can moderate and control his emotions in both good and bad situations to prevent unreasonable or impulsive conduct from taking over. Number 10. They never allow themselves to be taken advantage of. Despite being kind and helpful, these men never let themselves be taken advantage of. They are self-aware and won't put up with being treated like a doormat. They will put a stop to any attempt to take advantage of them right away. They won't consent to be twisted or used against them. Many people in this world are skilled at exploiting other people. 
They are cynical and self-centered, manipulating everyone to achieve their goals. These men, however, are not naive. They can see a con artist from a mile away, and they will not put up with being used as pawns in another person's game. Sadly, a lot of individuals let themselves be used. Simply because they don't want to upset the apple cart, they are afraid to speak up for themselves. Instead of confronting the individual who is taking advantage of them, they would prefer to suffer in silence. This is particularly true at work, where people are frequently reluctant to speak up out of concern for their jobs. Additionally, a lot of low-value guys allow themselves to be victimized to go up the corporate ladder. For the sake of power and position alone, they are prepared to bow to the established social structure. A real high-value man opts to dwell below the social hierarchy. They don't care about power or status and would rather be free than be held captive to a job they despise. So, there you have the 10 things high-value men never do. If you love this video, please make sure to like and drop a comment to let us know what you think, and don't forget to subscribe. I'll talk to you again soon.